week we brought on a new corporate client that has asked us to plan a fascinating 2020 event. And during the consultation, he asked me a question that I really wasn't prepared for. And he asked, he said, how many hours are you actually going to spend inside your office planning my event? So it took me a little bit of time to actually answer that because of the fact that I wanted to understand why he was asking that question. And I came up with two solutions, or at least a response for him. And the first thing I said was this. Our company is not driven by having tons of events. Because in having a ton of events, we diminish the quality of our service to each and every one of our clients. If I'm working on 30 and 40 and 50 events a year, I'm not really able to dedicate as much time to them as I would if I was planning 12 or 15 events a year. And I said, so that's not our position that we have. We're really dedicated on planning effectively. The second thing that I said was, I plan events everywhere, <laughs> like literally everywhere. If I'm in my doctor's office and I'm waiting, I'm planning an event. If I am at a baker, I'm planning an event. If I'm at a rental warehouse, I'm planning an event. If my friends are complaining about dating and I'm on the phone with them, I put them to the side, put them on mute, and I'm planning an event. So my office is literally everywhere. And I want to say this to you. You're not defined by where you're working. You're defined by the results that you provide to your client. And I said to you, to my client, the end result is all that matters. The process to get there is not really going to be traditional. It's not going to be in a traditional setting that he works in. I say, but the result that you get is going to be what you're expecting and some. So maybe some of you guys are in the same position. Maybe you creators are out there that are literally working from everywhere. I want you to be encouraged that no matter what the process looks like, because it can be messy, focus on the end result. 